Hi, I'm Stacy, and I'm a patient of Dr. Haddix. I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I had kept up with my 3D mammograms, but I felt the lump. It had attached to my breast wall. It was over my heart. I actually have an older dad, and I was taking care of him. And so I put mine off, and I said, oh, I'll just, I'll just wait. I just had my mammogram. Nothing came up on my mammogram. And I waited one more month. I was like, no, something's, something's not right. I need to go see, go back to my OBGYN to get started to see what's next. And um, went in and had biopsy and it was confirmed on Halloween that I had breast cancer. Since I had an older dad that had been in the care of a doctor at UT Southwestern, I knew where to call. And <laughs> they, have been amazing from day one. I picked my surgeon, Dr. Rachel Woldridge. I feel like she held my hand and answered all my questions. I'm a single mom going through this with two kids. And it, it was a lot. She actually said that there's a ton of plastic surgeons on her team that she works with here at UT Southwestern. And so she told me about three different surgeons I immediately just felt a connection to something that she said about Dr. Haddock. I did my research, I watched a video like you're watching right now, and I never wavered from that decision. Came in, met with Dr. Haddock and his team here at UT Southwestern, and he explained what he was gonna be doing after she removed the cancer. I had opted to do the deep flap, where we take the fat from your belly and put it up in your breast. I was not able to save my nipples. So also at that time, he took skin and put up in the nipple area. And then also I didn't have a belly button. I will be honest, that was a lot to take in. I actually did that surgery after chemo. You know, here I had no hair, no eyebrows, no boobs, no belly button, but I just kept trusting the journey. I'd given it to Dr. Haddock to take care of. You can't go wrong with starting at UT Southwestern. From what I've seen, what they've done with my father and what they've done with me, and I feel like I've, I feel like I've nearly been in every building here at UT Southwestern. You just kind of get a, a feeling of, you're just at the right place. You're just at the right place. There's resources that they have at UT that they can help you with different options of, of answers or if you're feeling different emotions there's there's support within the system if you do need it i didn't know what questions to ask and i probably didn't ask really enough there's the portal you can go in and send a message at any time of the night any day or night to any anybody on your team for different questions about medication or if, if this is not healing correctly i do remember after one of my surgeons surgeries i was kind of i had a question about you know, something, if it was healing correct, they immediately said, send me a picture and they got right back to me. I never, once the process started, I didn't really have to wait for a lot of answers. Even within the system, if you want a different opinion from someone, they're more than welcome. Yes, we will help set you up with someone else to visit with. Actually, in, in my oncology appointment, I wanted another opinion after meeting with the first oncologist that Dr. Wooldridge had helped me pick. And actually, it ended up going with the second oncologist. So you are your advocate. You speak up for yourself and you ask the questions. Even if it's a stupid question, I am quite sure I asked a few stupid questions. And they never once made me feel like it was a stupid question. They helped me figure it out and solve the problem of what I was trying to get to. I can't say enough about my experience and how positive it was for me and even my family. I'm a, I'm a businesswoman. I liked how when Dr. Wildridge talked about Dr. Haddock, it was, he is gonna do this, he's gonna do this, and he's gonna do that. And there's not a lot of fluff in there. And that is what I needed. I needed that structure. I needed that just reassurance of, okay, this is the step one, this is the step two, and this is the step three. And I think that is, is what really made me just drawn to him in his style of, of uh, practice. Too, what was interesting, um, and I don't know if, if all the other plastic surgeons are like this, because this has been my only experience with Dr. Haddock, was his all of his um, students and their involvement and just the level of respect when they would come in the room um, that you felt that they had towards him. 
So I actually got to see inside the operating room. I remember how big it was, but also how many students were in there. I was like, oh my goodness. And so if I can help you know, share my story with any of those students, I absolutely want to. But I think they're learning from one of the best. And, and just the respect that they had for each other, was it was great to see. Even my 17-year-old daughter got to witness it. And she was like, wow, I think I want to do something in the medical field. It came time for my second and hopefully my final reconstruction surgery. And I pushed it back a little bit because I was still tired from chemo and, and the other surgery. So here in January of 2024, we completed my last um, plastic surgery. This is where I ended up with cancer. And I didn't ask a lot of questions. I thought I was getting like tattoo nipples. I didn't know he was actually building me back true nipples. And I have a belly button. I cannot tell you how excited I was when I woke up and saw the work that he has done. And the healing process has been amazing. I've had not any issues with any of the surgeries. I've been very blessed with that. I saw Dr. Haddock today and I was like, can I give you a hug? <laughs> Just because, I mean, I, I knew from day one, I picked the right surgeon and he it's, his work has been amazing. I've never wavered from picking the right place, the right doctors, and everyone has been phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you for, you know, you get stripped and you're like, oh, am I gonna feel like a woman again? It, it's just a lot to go through mentally, physically, emotionally. And it's something about when you see the work that was done, you see the process and you see the final results, you're like, okay, I can do this. So thank you.